you guys good morning welcome back to another vlog it is actually 805 right now so I'm probably running on maybe six hours of sleep <laughs> but um, basically this vlog is going to basically be what the title is um, we are we already put the wheels on the car we already uh, got them got them fitted I took it for a drive yesterday to said after I actually ripped a brand new brake line and uh, ended up having to get another brake line that took about four or five hours for it to get to the other store I was just like kind of bummed out about it. like even though a brake line is an easy fix it's a super easy fix, just that I just didn't want to pick up the camera, and I, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I did not want to pick up the camera. I just wasn't really in the mood or whatever. But basically, I'm going to be bringing you guys along for a test drive so we can actually see what it's like on the inside of the car, and then I can do a couple clips where the camera is outside of the car, and you can see uh, basically how it, how it sits, how it rubs the fender. Some, Actually, no, I take that back. Surprisingly, it does not really it does not really catch the fender that bad, but it also doesn't really, you don't ever really hear it nick the fender either. Because, like, say if I have, like, the wheel, like, fully turned or whatever, it's, the tire is just, like, straight contact with the fender, but it's not, like, it's not catching it. It's not catching it ridiculously. It's just, like, it's just, like, flawlessly, like, just synchronizing with the fender. It's really weird. But other than that, um, first of all, uh, we need Duncan. If I had a Duncan watch, I would have it on right now, but I don't, so... <sighs> I guess that's how we're going to go ahead and start today's day off. So, let's go ahead and get some Duncan. Hopefully they don't mess it up. I don't feel like going all the way to Ocala just to get Starbucks. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get this vlog started, shall we? I'm also not sure if you guys are uh, friends with me on Facebook or you guys follow me on Facebook as well, but I made a rant video about Dunkin' Donuts, basically whether, whether uh, whenever it comes to their sugars, like if you put more than the average user for Dunkin' or Starbucks, like if you go like heavy in into your coffee or whatever, me, I normally do like six creams of five liquid sugars, but whenever they completely miss the liquid part or whenever they go to add it in there and they do not stir it whatsoever, all of it just literally sits at the bottom and uh, basically, basically the video, um, uh, my uh, one of one of my one of my friends Gordo actually tagged Dunkin' Donuts in it or whatever. And then I'm not sure if I'm not sure if Dunkin' Donuts actually saw my rant video, but after that, after like that, yeah, after that, maybe like my last six or seven coffees have actually been pretty good. So they're actually stirring them. But yesterday. I had another one where it was not stirred. And the funny part was because in my rant video, I told the guy, I was like, excuse me, sir, can you please stir this? He takes the cup out of my hand and shakes it. And I'm like, that's stirring it. That's not shaking it. <laughs> like, seriously. I'm literally gonna ask you to stir it. You're gonna take it out of my hand, shake it, and then give it right back to me when I could have done the exact same thing. Like, don't, don't do me like that. <laughs> do not do me like that. Stirring means you put a spoon in it and you stir the junk. <sighs> then he had, then he had, and then he had later to say, is that better? <laughs> no! No, it's not better! The moment of truth is upon us. I always do accents when I come to the door. Thank you for choosing that kind of basket. How can I help you? Um, hi, yes. Um, may I please get a vanilla iced coffee with uh, six creams and five liquid sugars, please? How many? I mean, what size? Uh, large. 
large French vanilla six cream five sugar. Or, um, vanilla bean, please. Oh, vanilla bean. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. And it was six cream five sugar or backwards. Uh, six cream, five liquid sugar. Okay. And a bacon, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel. Okay. And that'll be it. All right, so it's gonna be six forty-four. Right, thank you. My pleasure. And then the funny part is whenever she actually sees my face and sees I'm like full-blown American. <laughs> Hello. Hello, six forty-four. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks, man. Thanks a lot, bro. Thank you. Have a good one. Surprisingly, the coffee was made right, so I salute you. All right, guys, so we are now back at the hatch. I was actually uh, at my house um, editing up the vlog that you guys are watching right now. So we're going to go ahead and test drive the hatch, and then obviously, like I said in the previous vlogs, we're on Steelies right now because we, have, we still have to put the tires on the rears, and we still have to test fit them, possibly do some other uh, custom stuff. But other than that, we're basically just going to test this out. Like, like I said in the beginning of this video, we already took it for a test drive yesterday. We got it fitted. Just, I just did not have like the motor to pick up the camera or whatever. But basically, I'm just going to be repeating the entire process. So let's go ahead and uh, show you how this thing rides on the inside. So right now I have the camera in like the best position. Like I literally have you guys like on a tripod kind of in that thing. So we're actually gonna see how this goes. <laughs> yes, the camera is gonna shake a little bit. too bad um, like I said this is well I mean whenever we actually drove it yesterday we didn't actually go for like a, a test drive test drive this one was kind of just like going like maybe one or two streets whatever so this one we're actually gonna go uh, a little a little bit farther but just to get a test I gotta get my seat belt out you know safety first but Hmm. Which way can we go? That way's horrible. But um, we we'll go out. We we'll go out to the main road for a second. It's already been like a month and a half since I've been in this car again, so I gotta learn all the fucking bumps and shit all over again. <laughs> Other than that, just bounce machine. <laughs> but I do like that I'm driving the car again. Love it. Crime watch. <laughs> just, I'm just so happy we, we did we did the 32k springs. We uh, put an S2k wheel in it. Um, we did the fronts. Now we really just got to test drive the rears. My steering wheel is straight and the car is actually going pretty straight, so I'm glad that the alignment is like not complete junk. <laughs> I'm actually happy about it. <laughs> uh, other than that, I mean, it's, ri it's, ri it's riding pretty good. Um, still need to test it on turns and stuff like that, but it's honestly not that bad. It's not that bad. I'll tell you guys one thing, whenever it comes to doing those types of clips, it's super sketchy. You have no idea if the wind's gonna move the tripod. You have no idea of anything. You don't know if one of these idiots are gonna run into it. It's so sketchy. Because <laughs> I actually went all the way out there so I could do that, so I could stop. And surprisingly, there's a lot of traffic on this side. <laughs> 
But other than that, um, it, dri it drives pretty good. Then we gotta do the next one whenever we're uh, coming up to it. Sorry if the camera's like right in, right in your face. <laughs> Whew. That was a good run though. That was a really good run. It's also crazy that that's what the front's like right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, so other than that guys, that will end today's vlog. It actually it actually drove uh, quite quite nice. I'm very satisfied with how the front's sitting right now. So um, I'd want to say the next vlog, we get to throw the tires on the back and see how it fits, but I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to uh, pretty sure we're gonna have to do a little little something extra. A little other custom stuff. I might I might have to I might have to take it back to low life to figure out like what's the last part we need because like whenever because like whenever it comes to me and like thinking of ideas to fit I do not have the best ideas in the world, nor do they probably not work. So I'm, I may have to take it back up to Orlando and see and see if they can give me a hand here. But other than that, I'm uh, I'm super satisfied with the front. It rode really nice. It def definitely did its job. We got no bacon, but this car needs to be washed very bad because the car is absolutely dirty as hell, stupid dirty. But. It came out fairly nice, and now I drive on quarter of my tire. <laughs> oh, that was dope. But I hope you guys like this vlog, even though it wasn't as long as its usual vlogs. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. So don't, be, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Have a good rest of your week, and I will see you guys next weekend. Wow!